forms. What form is this? No, not like what form is that for taxes or whatever heck else that is. But what form is this here? We have quadratics. All of these are quadratic, written in different forms. So what we want to do is we want to recognize what these forms are and what they tell us. So let's talk to this uh, first one. This first one is what I call factor form because it has two sets of our, give me my x-intercepts. This one, that's what I call it the hk is our vertex form. And this one here, I think our book calls standard form. Sometimes I call it general form. Ooh, this one's kind of tricky. I look at it and first off, I see standard, but you know what? It's also vertex form. It's both because there's just no parentheses, but that do have an H of zero. Okay, we'll figure that out here. This one is definitely a vertex form. This one, I see the two parentheses, so I know it's factored. Mm, what about this one? I only see the one parentheses yet. This is a factored form. And this one here, I look at this and I see vertex. I see that parentheses plus K because of the squared, but it's also factored. It's vertex and factored. It can be more than one thing or tell us more than one thing very quickly here. So that was kind of unique. So remember, be careful of that when you go to do the work. Identify what type it is because they're going to tell us different things. So let's find the vertexes. Well, obviously, we're going to find the vertexes on the ones that have vertex form. So I'm going to go here, the one that says vertex, and it's an inside liar. So it's not going to be negative 5, but what? It's going to be the vertex is at what? 5, 3. Okay, I can find the vertex here, this one. It's going to be, there's no, that's like x minus 0. You just don't write it, so it's at 0, 3. This vertex right here, remember they're inside liars, horizontal liars, so it's a positive 1, negative 4. And this vertex here has this, I could add a plus 0 and we could see the vertex. So this is not negative 12, but a 12, 0 would be the vertex for this one. Okay, I just found the vertexes of the ones that were in vertex form very easy. All right, now let's find the axis of symmetry. Oh, yeah, because I can do that from vertex form because real simply it will be x equals whatever the x values are. Notice x value is a 5, x value is a 0, 1, 12. That's the axis of symmetry because vertex form tells us both those. All right, let's now find the x-intercept. Which one of the tells me the x-intercept? The factored form one. So I'm going to go up here to the one that's factored, and these are – Parentheses are always horizontal liars. They're opposites in parentheses. So I have a positive 6. That means it's negative 6, 0, and 4, 0. I have my Julia Roberts picks up for my horizontal liar. Okay, and then I'm going to go down to these bottom three that are factored because these are ones here. Here I see this one. That's inside liar, so it's going to be a positive 3 and negative 1, 0. 3, 0, negative 1, 0. What about this one? Well, I can see the 9, 0 pretty easy. But it's also 0, 0, because that's the same as x minus 0. We just don't write it. So this one's 0, 0, and 9, 0. Ooh. And this one here is just going to have 1. It is possible to only have 1. That means because the vertex, notice the vertex is at 12, 0. That's also the x-intercept. That's the only time that you can have 1 for an x-intercept in a quadratic is if it's at the vertex. So now I've found the vertex, axis of symmetry, and x-intercepts on the ones that are easy. And so what does the standard or general form tell me? That one tells me the y-intercept. Because the y-intercept is simply like the 0, negative 40, and 0, 3. Because it's, remember, the, if you put a 0 in the x's, it's like their value is 0, they go away. So I just have a negative 40 and a 3. That's how I can quickly maybe look at something and see right away what an answer might be when I go to graph these. Or I can tell quickly if the graph looks like it's even going in the correct direction to match up especially when you're trying to match graphs to some of your work. Oh, this graph goes up. How do I know it goes up? Because the value in front of here is positive. There's no value. It's a positive 1. This is a positive 3, so I know it's going up. Let's see the value in front of this x squared. This parabola is going to go It's negative, so it's going to go down. It's a positive in front of this, so it's going up. Negative 7 means it's going to go down. This 2 means it's going to go up. There's value in front of this to be positive, so it's going up. And there's a negative 6 in front of this whole thing, so that means it's going down. That's another thing I can tell real quickly. Maybe by graphing, if I have the right graph, just quickly by looking at something. This one I could tell the x-intercepts have to be that uh, negative 6, 4, 0. It should be kept here a little more. But 
and whether it's going up or down. That will help me determine some things quickly sometimes.